Good afternoon, and welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hi, friends of the podcast. Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, Samantha. What a day. Oh, what my God. A day. What have we done? You know what's weird? <laughs> There's a Christmas tree beside you, beautifully lit and up, and it's white with blue and aqua-colored balls. Yes. And to explain why we are staring at a Christmas tree is to say that we're on location. We're on location. In the HHG's basement. Also known as her Airbnb suite. (laughs) We've just rented it by the hour, though. (laughs) She gave us the hourly rate. Yeah, Yeah. but we bought them pizza. We did. That doesn't cover the hourly rate? I think it does. I don't think she's going to bill us. I think she's just joking. And it was nice that we got pizza. Yes. For them. Yes. And for us. Yes. Because that's what good people do. That's what people do. So why And you got weird about that. So I we don't um, even start. We can't talk. Don't start. Why are we here? Why are we here, Samantha? <laughs> because it's minus 40 outside. It's too cold, guys. <laughs> and everybody was like, don't do it in the car today. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. There was messages. There yes. Was like, my mother, Jersey. I know. Everybody was everybody. like, don't do it. <laughs> and then you know what? Because my bus was 25 minutes late today and I was waiting outside in minus 40 weather. All I thought was I sent the HHG a text. Said God, it's gonna be cold in the car. And she's like, "You're coming out. You're coming inside. You guys are coming inside this week." <laughs> well, thank God her tenant left. Because <laughs> no notice. That would be mm. so awkward right yeah, now. Would be. Hi, Sally. Yeah, hi, Sally. Don't mind us, right? We had to come inside. <laughs> I like your tree. <laughs> But she's got a lovely, lovely setup. You here. know what? It's really nice. Yeah. So you know what? If she does the Airbnb, look into it, people. If you come to Saskatoon, there you go. I may, I may move into it. <laughs> <laughs> right? This is like the best. If you like, like if you're married and you're perimenopause and you can't get along with your husband, this might be the best suite ever. Well, because you could rent it by the day, the week, the hour, the hour. <laughs> If you need to, you can rent it by the hour. So, yes, yeah, so we're trying that's to... That's a whole different that's kind a, of and that's, business, And that's Lisa. a different podcast. That's a different... It's a different podcast that we're not part of. So, here's the uh, thing, friends of the podcast. We might sound a little bit different because we're not... Why are you so weird about that? Because it's You're changed. so weird. I'm not so weird. Stop it. I'm not being weird. You know what, Lisa? Tell me. They're going to be okay. I know. I'm Friends just of the saying. podcast, you're going to be okay. I'm just saying. You're going to be okay. 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 It's because it's a change. <laughs> I know. You're change. horrible with it. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> I try my best. Oh, I my God. Okay. I need to talk about something, okay. though. Tell me. Why is Prince Philip driving a car? Oh, my God. Period. Oh, And my. also the fact that he's 97 and driving a car. Here's the thing, Samantha, right? He got into a car accident. I know. Uh, he hurt three people. We almost lost our prince. You know, we almost lost the three people. And we lost almost three people, but they weren't hurt that bad. One got a little, a couple little scratches. Don't one think. broke a wrist, and the baby was fine. <laughs> baby was fine. That's horrible. I know that, but they're not more important than him. No, nobody's saying that. Everybody's been in a car accident. Oh. I've been in a car accident. So it was just a car accident. Yes, he's 97. Uh huh. Should he be driving? Probably not. No, right? He should not. He, sh- you know what? Because I'm inside, I feel like I'm doing my sweaty balls voice. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk normally. I know I am, Samantha. Okay. Okay, but here's the thing, right? <clears throat> he's he's the prince. Yeah. They like to still drive. There's still though, people. Yeah, but even though they can't go places, they still like to drive. The queen, only person who doesn't need a driver's license. She should. Well, I'm a little bit on the fence. She should, because. Who taught her? How good is she? She's well. It doesn't matter. She's the queen. He hit somebody. Well, you know what? People get in accidents. It's called an accident for a reason. <laughs> huh, right? Oh my God, my smoke is cop. Excuse me. <laughs> it's called an accident for a reason, Samantha. Uh huh. Right. And the, but the queen, they got a picture of her not wearing a seatbelt. She doesn't need to. The She's rules the apply to them. I get that. The rules of the road apply to all. Not every rule applies to the queen. Yes. Right? She doesn't need a passport. She should. She shouldn't. She doesn't need a lipstick if she doesn't want to wear it. <laughs> she don't need a purse. She doesn't need to have stuff in her purse. She doesn't need to carry a purse because there's someone behind her carrying her purse. Well, I know that. So I'm just And I saying. love the queen. I love the yes. royal people. But they're still people. Do you think she would? they would do better if, like, the old people would do better if it was self-driving? Yes. Yeah, I want self-driving car too. Because <laughs> you're lazy. Lazy. If I don't have to like put my foot on the gas or hold no, the steering No, because you like wheel, to do five million things at I the would. same time. This is my picture, right? Okay, so I'm self-driving. I got my feet wherever. I got my hands on my phone and I'm not looking straight ahead. Perfect. It's perfect. Your car, get me where I need to go. <laughs> exactly. Right? Surrey, I'm going to the corner store. 
Let me know when I get there. Right? <laughs> Lisa, you're there now. Well, okay. and, and why wouldn't he have a self-driving car? I don't know. Maybe they haven't made them for the other side of the road yet. I don't know. Maybe they haven't. You don't know. We don't know. They're maybe they're further behind in technology than we are. I don't know. Not they don't live in a third world country. I'm not Lisa. saying that, but they're in the UK, man. That doesn't make so any sense. They drive on a different road. No, they don't. They drive on the wrong yes, side. They no, they drive on their side of the road. Mm. I'm just and their cars are on the wrong side, and their driver seats on the wrong side. Everything's on the wrong. So side. So maybe they just haven't got to drive. Maybe they maybe haven't got there yet. Maybe it's a little bit slow. That's all I'm saying. But we could have lost our prince. We almost lost our prince. Okay. What? But bigger news. Bigger news. Oh, my God. It's like bigger news. Big. So big. I'm going to blow your mind, friends of the podcast. I got a text about it. You got a pictogram. (laughs) That's what you got, Samantha. You got a pictogram. Miracle Whip came back. Times two. (laughs) Right? Not just good enough to have one. I don't understand why you needed to tell me that. And I got a picture. Because I, I had joy in my heart. Right? So if there's joy in my heart, joy I like to share. In my heart. <laughs> joy in my heart because oh my the miracle God. whip is back. Because you know, I've been oh. living with seriously good Heinz. We try to be male, but we're not. We're white, thick, and gross. Mayonnaise. White, thick, and gross. It's all those things. It's got no tang. It's got no zip. It's got no zip. That's the difference. That's what makes it seriously not good is there's no zip. <laughs> The Miracle Whip, Samantha, it's got some zip. Well, according to Adam from our Facebook Live, it's salad dressing, and that's why it's got zip. Well, you know what? You mix it in there with my tuna fish, and which is funny. Why do they call it tuna fish? Don't we already tuna know? tuna is a fish. Yeah, right? So it's kind of weird, hey? Just thought of that now. Blow your mind, hey? Oh, my God. Blow your mind. <laughs> the saying. weird shit that falls into your brain. All the time. It's like All the time. Nonsensical. I know. But that's my thing. Yeah, so it's back. It's back times two. Okay. But if you wanted to really be a driver, uh huh, like still drive a car, yeah. you couldn't be the Oscar Mayer hot dogger. I could be. No, you couldn't. Yes, because you'd have to go around in the hot dog car. It's the hot dog mobile. It's shaped like a hot dog. <laughs> couldn't you just see me? I'm applying. I want a part-time summer job. <laughs> I want to be a hot dogger. <laughs> I want to be an Oscar Mayer wiener. <laughs> Couldn't you just see me? Who else better okay. to promote the hot dog? No. Even on Snapchat. No. The other day I sent you a Snapchat mm-hmm. and I'm, I was a hot dog. Yes. It went from, is this better than being a wiener? We. Right? Because then you could be a hot dog on the Snapchat. Okay. Yeah. So I know you. Yeah. Have known you for 20 odd years. Yes. You'd be bored in five minutes. Why do you think that? Because <laughs> you wouldn't be able to play with your phone. I wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to stop for snacks. You wouldn't I would be, just eat hot dogs. You wouldn't be able to like touch every button in the car. <laughs> no. Because people would actually want you to do something in your hot dog car. No. No, I would just drive you around. You would get bored in five minutes. I would just drive around and promote no, you the wouldn't. hot dogs. No, you wouldn't. I'd just You'd be, like, be bored in five ways. minutes. You know what you would do? What? You know what you would do? Huh. This is, I predict. <laughs> Tell me. What would I do? Samantha? You would park somewhere. Tweet where you were and make the people make come the people to you. Come to me, okay? <laughs> and make them bring you snacks. Make me bring out. And if anybody's coming to uh, 32 in Maine, right? I'm looking for a ginger ale <laughs> and a Jersey milk chocolate bar, please. <laughs> you would totally make people I come would. to you. I would 100%. You would drive nowhere. Mm-mm. You would drive nowhere. No, come to me. And you would be like, after one day, yeah, you know what? I think I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'd quit. Mm-hmm. I would just want the experience. You would. But I would be good at it. No, you wouldn't. What if you get free hot for, dogs? For like five minutes. What if you get like it. lifetime hot dogs? Maybe. That'd be awesome. Maybe for like a week. While you're there. Yeah. One day. One day. One day. Well, you, it'd be like five minutes, so you get one hot dog. But I can eat, I can eat more than one in five yeah. minutes. <laughs> tell you that right now. That insults me, actually. Well, I've seen you eat hot dogs, so yeah. yes. I can, right? <laughs> Chomp, 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 chomp. Okay, I have a bone to pick with Lay's. Uh, with the Lay's chips? Yeah. Really? Because you're like the number one chip fan. No, I love chips. Yeah. Don't mess with them. Nobody's messing no with the com- chips. I don't need a combo. Oh, no, yes, you do. You no, need I don't. Dill. Yes, you need. I don't need yes. dill pickle and ranch. Yes, you need that no, combo. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I don't want a dill pickle with ranch. Oh, my I don't think God. ranch complements a dill what pickle. What if you had a deep fried pickle, you would dip it in a ranch at the bar? So, yes, that's where they get no. it from, Samantha. No. You need to broaden your horizon. No, you there's no broadening. I'm done. Mm. I thought I saw that, and I'm like, oh, come to mama. You don't even like chips. I know, but that chip I would. Really? Yeah. Really? Sometimes I find the dill pickle too pickle. But with <laughs> it has tang to it. I know that. You like Miracle Whip but for its tang? No, I like it for its zip. Thank you. <laughs> I like it for its zip, not for its tang. I like it for its zip. I'm so sorry. Yes. I got the wrong fucking word. <laughs> di- there's a difference. Let's get it right. 
but I think that mm, I can taste that. No, and, it would just and be... I just think. Bleh. No, I disagree. Overkill. No, totes overkill. Really? Yep. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what do you eat? Everything. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I am. Not, I am a fan of most. <laughs> but, not that, chips. but not yes, that. But not that one. But not that one. That's weird. No. I thought you would like it for sure. Nope. Okay, so the other day, uh huh. I was, okay, remember last week on the podcast, we were talking about casseroles? Yes, you wanted to bring them back. Yeah. From the 70s. From the 70s. And my mom was the queen of casseroles. But then it kind of got me thinking, right? Mm -hmm. She also was the queen of like one really, really nasty dish. No, I think there's two, but I'll remind you of the other one. Okay. I I think I blocked it out. (laughs) Am I going to have PTSD from it? Probably. Okay. The the one that I recall was that she used to make corned beef hash. Okay. So disgusting. (laughs) And then she'd fry a big old sloppy egg on it, eh? I'm like, oh. And then, what's for supper? <laughs> corned beef hash. And first, my first question is, whereabouts on the cow is the corned beef? I have no idea. Because there's like, there's the brisket, there's the shoulder, there's the ribs. There's the steak. There's the rump. <laughs> Where's the corned beef? I've never seen the diagram of where the corned beef is. It's on the other side. Of what? <laughs> I don't know. It makes me think that it's not real meat or something. It is. I don't think so. And it was disgusting. It is. And she used to make that. And it was so gross, and it got me thinking about it the other day. I'm like, God, Mom, you made a nasty meal. Okay. You have a second one? No, I remember you talking about, I think it was uh, something ham and peas on toast. Ooh, cream peas and ham on toast. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> right. Super disgusting, too. Super disgusting. It was a super You were dis- like nothing about your job. <laughs> I tell you, that meal, when, that's right, when 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 we knew, when we saw ham being cooked on Sunday, uh-huh. we knew what was coming Monday. Creamed peas Creamed and ham. Creamed peas and ham on toast. Yuck. Yeah. And now that just reminded me of the third one that she used to make that was horrible. And it was belly button mushrooms. The creamed belly button mushrooms. You know those ones from the can? Is that why you hate mushrooms? Well, probably why I'm allergic. Right? <laughs> right? Probably why. You're not allergic. I am allergic. No, you're not. I am too. Look, at we had some on the pizza today. I got instant headache. You're not allergic. I need the EpiPen. <laughs> Where's the EpiPen when I need it? You need a smack across your head. But yeah, so it just kind of got me remembering like like nasty, that got me good dishes went to nasty dishes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you want to know where it took me? Yeah. Because you look like you're just like. Well, because I feel like there's another head. story there. Apple butter. Uh-huh. But it's a feel good. Okay. It's a feel good. <laughs> it's a better childhood it's memory. It's a better childhood memory. Have you ever had apple butter? No. Really? Yeah. I well, feel, well mm, I shouldn't say that. I might have and probably was not overly excited with I don't it. even know why it's called apple butter because there's no butter in it. It's just like, I don't know, it's just like... Is it like applesauce? But better. That's what it should be, apple better. <laughs> That's what it should have been called. Maybe that's what it was called, apple better. And but then yeah. they just substituted the letter. So my uncle Alex, or sometimes Alec, depending on what phase of his craziness he was in, he used to <laughs> he used to go to the orchard and he would bring us apple butter. Apple butter. By the tub. Like such a big container. And we, my kids this time, we used to always put it on, on bread and it'd make the bread soggy, which is gross. But with the apple butter, it didn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, like to this day, my kid sister, she still gets a little verklempt when she sees apple butter at the grocery store. I have never even seen it again. I didn't, I didn't even know it existed. Well, considering your husband doesn't let you grocery shop, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I don't even know what's in there. And if it's not down the aisle, he's going, you're screwed. I know, I don't even know if they sell milk anymore at the grocery store. For all I know, milk doesn't even exist in grocery stores. He goes someplace else. He goes to the farm and buys it now or something, for all I know. Probably. I don't know. But those were my little feel goods for this week. Okay. Everything else is cynical and pissy. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> what Smith. the hell is a hot box? And why is the HHG thinking she's a hipster because she knows about it? First off, the HHG is a hipster. No, she's not. She is. You know why? Because her kids, her kids keep her hip. They say phrases. She's like Miss Urban Dictionary. She's Urban Dictionarying everything. When I don't know something, I get like a little text and it's of the Urban Dictionary. Do you know the Urban Dictionary? Yes, thank okay. you. So that's where you find these things. That's that's how you keep up. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Because I want to get the cannabis oil, right? Uh-huh. Because you know what? It says it's really good for aches and pains. Yes. And we're very ache and painy. Right? We're 50. Well, we're women of a certain age. We're aches and pains. Uh-huh. And it's supposed to help with everything. Okay. So I said to her, we should go to like the pot shop, right? Because they got the pot stores open now because we're in Canada and mm-hmm. it's legal. And I said, get the cannabis oils. And then she's like, yeah. And then we should buy some pot. And then we should hot box and Betty. So what hot box? And, and, and so me, right? Good thing she can't see my face when we're like, when she's texting. Because I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, hot box. And then I'm thinking, I better Google that, right? Because I don't want to not sound cool. Oh what it is. God. So then I said to her, 
what's hot boxing? Uh-huh. Then she sent me the Urban Dictionary. Uh-huh. And what it is, is it's, so say the three of us are in Betty, uh-huh. right? And everything's sealed up tight. Yeah. You smoke the pot. Yeah. But then you inhale the breath inside. Yes. So isn't it hilarious with the HHG because she doesn't like to waste anything? Mm-hmm. She's not even going to waste the inhale. Like, isn't that so bizarre? You're not doing that in my car. Hotboxing and Betty. <laughs> we're not. That's one of our adventures no. is to hotbox and Betty. No, we're not. Really? Because your clothes smell like, like it. Betty is going to smell like it. But it's it, legal. And I don't want to get stopped by the cops. But it's legal. Nope. It's legal. It's not legal to do it we in the car. We won't drive anywhere. And then drive. We'll just do it from your driveway. No. We'll just do it from your parking lot. No. And we'll just hotbox. No. Let's hotbox. Pick your own freaking car. Sounds like hot pocket. No. Sounds like fun. No. Yeah. No. Only one person has to smoke it. Nope. From the sounds of it. Nope. And the rest just inhale. No, you just get high off the fumes. Have you never done that in your life? No. I have. I know you have. You're a little rebellious that (laughs) way. Me and the HHG, (laughs) drug virgins. (laughs) We're drug virgins. Well, you can do it on your own. (laughs) Do it on your own time. We need somebody to teach us. Use Use her SUV. Samantha. As if we're going to use her fancy SUV. Uh, we're not using Betty. I'm, not, I'm just saying. Betty is my SUV. I know Betty is, but maybe Betty wants to. No, Betty does not. Mm-hmm. Betty's kind of crazy talking. that way. Stop talking. Okay. Stop talking. Right. Well, I'm just saying. No, we're not. If we if we toke up, you, you'll be surprised. If you toke up, you're going to want to go to all eat all the all eat pancake thing at the IHOP. I know. All you can eat. We don't even have the IHOP For four ninety nine. dollars $4.99. I saw it on a commercial, or I heard it. All you can eat pancakes for four ninety nine. I don't think you can. You know how many pancakes you're going to eat? How many? You three. Not when it's all you can eat pancakes. No, nope. if I'm no, nope. no, 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 you will not eat more than three. If I'm in pancake mode, I'll eat more than three, <laughs> no, my friend. You will oh, not. Look at, listen to this. How many pancakes do you eat at home? I eat two, two. <laughs> But I'm not saying I'm in pancake mode. What the hell is pancake mode? That's like when is you're like... Is it after the hot box or before the hot box? I don't know. People say you get the munchies after the hot box. Yes, you would. Then I'd be in pancake mode. <laughs> I'd be like, where's the I? I mean, we'd have to drive far to the IHOP because there's well, not one there's here. Well, there's no IHOP here. I know, but then the, there should be. Dear IHOP, we've talked about this before. Come to Saskatoon. Well, they're closing some of the IHOPs down, so really? probably not. No. Too bad, because I shake my head needs you. <laughs> We need... I, you need them. Need, I'm not hotboxing, so I'm not getting the munchies. Because here's what drives me crazy, right? Is you have, like, your Montanas, you have all your all-you-can-eat ribs and all that sort of garbage, right? You just want an all-you-can-eat pancake bar? Or French toast bar. <gasps> that would be I good. think you could eat more French toast than a pancake. I think I could, too. Yeah. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I don't think it's as good for you. It's not as healthy. Toast, pancake, doesn't matter. No, bread. Bread. What the hell do you think a pancake is made out it's of? It's not a piece of bread. It's made out of flour, I know just that. like a freaking piece of toast. I know that, but it's not a piece of bread, Samantha. So I think the it's bread the would be worse. It's the same worst. thing. No, if you ate three sandwiches, that's horrible for you, <laughs> right? That's not good for you whatsoever. It's horrible because it's a carbohydrate, Lisa. Uh, I don't know about that. Is that a spring? I thought yeah, that was pasta. You can you just not talk about food because you really don't know anything? <laughs> okay, but what about pancake balls? <laughs> Why the hell would you want to make a pancake? Is that not a donut? No, I Is don't that think not a donut hole? I don't hole. think it's a donut hole. Or a Timbit? No, that's a, that's a donut. A pancake ball and then like, oh, picture this. How the hell do you make a pancake? Well, for one thing, pancake batter would never make it into a ball. Yeah, you'd have to make like an apparatus. I'd have to take like the, the steel and make oh something, make a special like a muffin <laughs> tin. Just become right? fire. Make a muffin Stop. tin and then do something like that, I think. No. Yeah. But imagine that. Okay, so here's your pancake. We can always, we can hammer out the details later. Okay? <laughs> All right? Come on. Stay with me now. Focus. Okay? You take oh the pancake God. ball and you deep fry it and then you dip it in the butter and uh-huh. then you put a little bit of syrup on. Mm, those would be good balls. It, just because it's deep fried. That's the only thing that's kind of making you excited. Deep fry the balls. We can eat those. Deep we can eat deep, the balls. I'll eat deep fried balls. <laughs> I'll eat deep fried balls, Samantha. I'm just I'm not even going to go there. I'm just saying. I got a bad thought in my head. Deep fry, <laughs> deep fry the balls with the pancake, with, with, with the syrup. Anything deep fried and you're licking it. So. <laughs> but I don't want it to be too sticky. <laughs> but I don't want it to be too sticky. right? Uh, or too gummy. Be, or too gummy. No, I don't want yeah. it too gummy no. or too sticky. No. Just the right consistency. Or hard. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I don't, do you want a hard ball? I don't do know. you want a hard pancake? No. No. You don't want a hard no. pancake. No. I don't think you want a hard ball either. No. No. I'm just saying. You're so sad. I just wondered about them. Uh-huh. Okay, so I have a funny story. So the other day I was off in the afternoon. Uh-huh. Okay? Uh-huh. And I was uh, 
just, you know, relax and taking it easy. Mike works nights. You, you relaxing is watching TV in your chair. Yeah. That's my form of relaxation. <laughs> 24 seven if I'm not working, right? Mike works nights. So uh-huh. what he does, but he has a routine. He has a sleep routine when he comes home. He stays up for a bit. Then he goes to sleep. Then he wakes up maybe every like three hours, mm-hmm. gets up, gets a drink, has a chocolate chip cookie, comes out to the TV room where I am, says, I'm going to sleep a little bit longer and goes back to bed and repeat. Only this time what he was doing is he was getting up, getting his drink, getting his cookie, coming out to the TV room. What are you watching? CNN. Oh, then he'd go back to bed. Then he'd get up, repeat. And then he, the second time, he's like, what are you watching? CNN. He stops. He looks. He's like, I think that was the same thing that I saw last time I was up. Because it's a loop, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, my God. Because it's my season. It's my season. Yes, I know. It's getting to my season. It's your political so season. So isn't that so funny? Because, yeah, so we were watching. He was, uh, he was laughing because I was watching the news loop. Because you're that girl. Yeah. What if I missed part of it? What if I dozed off for 30 seconds? Seriously? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Seriously. Or do you have problems retaining information? No. I want to Are make sure? sure that I know all of it. Oh, my God. Yeah. You're that girl. I'm that girl. You're so annoying. I'm that news girl. Okay. Okay. When you're watching This Is Us, yeah. you cry, I want a picture. I almost cried this week. I know. And I need to, I need it documented. Really? Yeah. I need it documented. Yeah. Here's the phone. <laughs> here's, here's me crying. I almost did. I took my glasses off and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, Samantha. I'm gonna. <laughs> not yet. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm not, holding off. I'm. I, I'm not. I'm not letting them fall. No. Are you gonna wait to the end? I don't know. Then what? you're just gonna be like this big ball of tears. Happens, right? You're just gonna fall apart. To just be falling apart. Just I cry for an hour. I just cry oh for the God. whole show. Oh, ah. Makeup's everywhere, <laughs> right? But you know what I did watch this week <sighs> that I never told you about, which what? was really interesting. So it was on 2020, and it was. The Jim Baker and Tammy Faye story. Oh, I saw that. Wow. I saw the little... Are they weird? Way weirder than you ever would have thought. Yeah. It's worth watching. I had a feeling. Mm-hmm. Really weird. Super weird people. Super, super weird. Like, kinky kind of weird? Yeah. Like, into like... Not her. No. Him. Him. Yeah. Odd that he's a religious figure. Yeah. That's sad. And like, all things that the religious folk don't. Really? Yep. But preach the good word. And then stole your money. Oh. Mm-hmm. Because that's what he was doing, right? He was stealing everybody's money. And what was Tammy doing in all of that? I don't know. Getting, like, cosmetic surgery. Right? That was a weird-looking lady. Right? It was a weird-looking lady. You know what? It was the 80s, so she had big hair. She had big hair and way too much makeup on, right? Yep. Yeah. Was it always too much um, mascara? Too, and much too much mascara? Her blush her was... Her blush was yeah. very blush. Yeah. yeah. It was there on your face. Yeah, but interesting story. Interesting. Oh. Yeah. Okay. At first, I thought I wasn't going to watch it, I, but I, I PVR'd it because you know how, you know, that's what you do, right? Oh, just in case. Yes. And then I started to watch it. And I'm like, oh, it was like crack. I couldn't put it down. <laughs> couldn't put it down. <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't tear away from the crack. Uh, yeah. Well, sp- speaking of fun TV things, yeah. didn't the Rough Draft send you a picture of something? Rough Draft did. So Stacy sent me because we were talking about the other day, about, or a couple of weeks ago, about Blockbuster and Netflix. And remember, I made the comment about how you how, never watch it because you never go to it on your TV. Yeah. So Stacey from the Rough Giraffe podcast, she sent me a picture on Twitter, and her remote control has a Netflix button. Huh. Interesting, hey? Do you need a new remote? If, but then does that make me have to get a new TV? It might. See, I'm a little cheap that way, right? <laughs> yeah. A little cheap. But if you tell Mike about it, he next be. day you're going to have a new TV yeah. with a new remote. Because, dear dude, don't bitch at me for not watching Netflix. <laughs> get me the remote where I just have to click it with only one click, and I bet you I'm like a Netflix girl. <sighs> Isn't that so funny? You could become a Netflix whore. I could be. Absolutely. I could be a Netflix. That yeah. could be fun. It seems super easy, too. It is super, super easy. easy. Yeah. Okay. But speaking of your addiction to, like, TV. Yeah. And it is now your political season. It is my political season. Which is so annoying. It's my political season. I'm already annoyed. 649 days. I don't understand. November 3rd, 2020. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh, absolutely it's too much too early everyone's running for president they i might haven't run gotten, they haven't got rid of the first one yet i might run you're I'm, canadian you can't oh, damn but everybody else is i know uh, everybody's running for president every time you watch the cnn <laughs> they say <laughs> blah 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 Sal- sally brown i just throw my hat in to be the president <laughs> right 
Peter Paul. I just threw my hat in to be the president. And I'm just like, oh, my God, everybody, where do they so, get the money? Is it mostly a rich man's game? Yeah, it is, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Big time rich man's Unless game. Unless the candidate is backed by some Some, some rich men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Right. So what's happening now? So now all everybody who ever wanted to be the president in their lifetime, when I grew up, I want to be the president. They're now stepping up. Right. <laughs> not one of them has a hope in hell because anybody that has a chance, you're not going to hear from them for probably a year still. Yeah. So all these people, this is my thing. Why don't you just stop? Give the money to the people that, that aren't getting paid in, in America. The government workers? Yeah. Give it to America. Come on, America. America. Right? Donald Trump, you're not making America great again. Speaking of that, dude. What the fuck? <sighs> Man. I don't understand why he isn't not mess. the president anymore. He's a hot, hot mess. And, you know, I thought <laughs> what he did last week yeah. with the McDonald's and the Wendy's and the whatever. <laughs> that was weird. It hey? was weird. Yeah. That was really weird. But he just keeps getting weirder, which is bizarre. He's like, he's crazy. I don't understand. And then who is it that he's, who is it that they keep reference? Is it Ann Coulter that they keep saying that he's getting all of his advice from? And Ann Coulter, no, not Ann Coulter. It's a comedian. What? Who? I don't remember. I, oh, for the life of me, I don't remember her name now. She was roasted. She, she, she did the Rob Lowe roast, but got roasted. Kathy Griffin hates her. I don't know what her name is. Oh my god, Maybe I don't Ann know Coulter, either. But I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to get back to her on that. Okay. But but that seems to be he's always quoting her. Really? Yeah. And she's like a loser. Uh oh. Yeah. He's crazy. America. America. You got problems. Come America. on, America. So, but you know what? Oh, I hate to say this. Say it. But you know what? what? He may be the worst guy ever. He'll get in again. I think he could. He's Teflon. <laughs> he's weird. Right? Nothing. He's weird and Teflon. And and even though they're like, and this is going to sink a ship. It's it, nothing has. Nothing has. Nothing has. He's gonna, he'll be two terms. So weird. George Sr. didn't get two terms. He's going to get George two terms. George Sr. didn't get two terms? George Sr. Senior did. But W did. W did. W did. And he shouldn't have. Uh-huh. No, he shouldn't have. I don't know. No, it just no, all no, depends, no. right? It all depends who you talk no. to with it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, because I, I think I, have, I need to talk to you about this. Okay. You have battery phobia. Phobia. I'm always charging my battery. Yes, you yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> I like to have all my batteries up For and running. For which device? I like that? all my devices to be prepared <laughs> at short moments. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to 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 worry that any of my battery operated devices are not going to be able to perform at their best. Oh my god. When called upon. When called upon. Right? If I go. need something with a battery, Samantha, <laughs> I need it to be ready. Okay. I need it at my fingertips. <laughs> Talking about your phone. Talking about my phone, friends of the podcast. You, well, because little, like your little Samsung. Yeah. As we like to call little it. Little Sam. <laughs> little Sam. <laughs> or as my husband says, your Korean boyfriend. <laughs> oh, <that's right. laughs> I'll say to Mike, love you. Are you talking to your phone? Are you like looking at your phone? <laughs> jerk (laughs) but seriously you do like baby your phone i know and every time it's like you're you panic at 70 i do because what happens if i get kidnapped what happens if i get (laughs) derailed on the train what happens if there's no power oh my god what happens you wouldn't use your phone oh there'd be no cell towers if there was no power okay let's say there's power (laughs) yes let's say there's power but say i'm like say i'm like caught in my car in a storm Uh uh-huh what do you do? Cell towers are down. You don't have a phone. No, I need to. I don't like to go below 70. <laughs> what about you? i good. I usually panic around 50. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but there's been times, Samantha, come on. There's been times where you've been like, sorry, you got no power. HHG was doing, where was she? She was at the rush game. <laughs> and she she sent a message. Only 2% left. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> I'm like, Mike, do we have a paper bag? <laughs> and yeah, I think I'm going to hyperventilate. HHG. <laughs> She's in a public place with her husband. And she's got 2% left out of battery. Right? Oh my God. My husband charges his phone probably once every three weeks. Well, because he doesn't use he it. He doesn't use it. Mm-mm. No, not no. like you, you little phone whore. I am a phone whore. Phone whore. I love my phone. Whore. I just love it so much. Okay. Speaking of the HHG, she's a little bit crazy. What is with the 10 second lie rule? So here's the thing, right? So she pawns herself off as, as, as very, um, innocent. Yes. And I can't, saintly. Well, I can't lie. No, very, truthful. Very truthful. <laughs> right? <laughs> Whatever. 
<laughs> and I'm like, uh huh. And I'm like, there's no way you can just live your life like that, right? No. Because my first instinct is to lie. Mm-hmm. Not a bad lie, not a hurtful lie, but get myself, because I always think I'm in trouble. So get myself out of trouble type of lie. Mm-hmm. HHG, she was telling me something, and I looked at her, and mm-hmm. I'm like, huh? And she's like, huh? And I'm like, huh? <laughs> and she's like, huh? And I'm like, back oh it up. God. And then she confessed. Really? She was fibbing. But oh, it so that's what she's calling her well, lie. Well, she, she might have called it a lie. And I'm like, really? That <laughs> happened? You did that? And you told me you didn't? <sighs> you said once? I said once. And now you're saying two or three times. And she's like, I lied. But it doesn't count because it's only 10 seconds. <laughs> what is that? That's nothing. She still lies. A special HHG <laughs> amendment? I don't think so, right? I believe it is. So crazy. Such a lying sack of shit. <laughs> it's a lying sack of shit. A lie's a lie. A lie's a lie. Right? Lies a lie. Whether Big or small. Yeah, it's not like dropping food on the ground. It's the five second rule. Yeah. Right? That's not how it goes. Exactly. That's how she thought it was, though. She was convinced that it didn't count because it was her 10 second lie rule. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I okay. Know. I don't get her. So we're having, I'm having a problem with being 50 right now. Oh my God. One minute I'm hot, the next minute I'm cold. Samantha, it's I crazy. don't know what's going on. It's, well, other than, men, other than the menopause. <laughs> other than the pause. But here, isn't it so weird? Like I had like a sore back the other day mm-hmm. and I was sitting at home and because we're old, right? We got to give into it. <laughs> here we got to give, I hope the pot oil helps. We got to give into it. <laughs> So I was sitting at home. Uh-huh. I had the heating pad on my back uh-huh. on high uh-huh. and I had the fan on high. <laughs> Because because I knew Mike's like just put the heating pad on your back and I didn't want to because I knew I was gonna have to have the fan on and so I'm like okay <laughs> you're asking for it now Mister <laughs> so it's a bit of a conundrum it's a bit of a conundrum because you need the heat for your back yeah but the heat brings on the heat the heat brings on the heat which turns on the fan which then turns on the fan because it's winter yeah so and minus forty outside. so it's like icy cold <laughs> right so so hot party in the back cold <laughs> business in the front. <laughs> That's how it seems. Hot party in Hot the back. Hot party in the back. Cold, cold business, business in, in the, the front. front. Isn't that so crazy? Okay, that makes Don't sense. Don't you find that though? That all the time. Oh. Like when I'm sleeping, all of a sudden I'm like awake and sweating. Yeah. What the f? And don't give me that. Oh, I put my foot out and it's better. Bullshit. That's not better. No, it's like throwing are, the covers are, off. Are you still in your flannels, like long no, sleeves? No, 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 right? no. Are you like? Are you in your tank top days? I bought cotton sheets because I am that girl. In the winter. Yes, because no. I am too hot. And you are like stick to the flannel sheet girl. <laughs> stick to you the used flannel. to be in my flannels <laughs> on the flannel. <laughs> no more flannel, cotton sheets, wow. and praying for some cold. And are you in a tank top now? You sleep in yes, a tank top? Yes, of course, because wow. it's too hot. Yeah. A long pant, or have you gone to the no, capri? No, capri. Oh, look at you. Yes. Look at you. High five. <laughs> you got there, my friend. <laughs> right? It's not easy, is it? No, because no. it's hot. Yeah. It's hot. Yeah. It's hot. Meanwhile, the HHG, she's wearing a Hugh Hefner's. She did look cute, though. She does. She greeted us with the Hugh Hefner. And then wouldn't you expect <laughs> I would expect nothing less, Right? She's that she's classy that way. She's she's so classy. Right? She's I'm in so like classy. a like a gray I'm in a gray trailer park tank top at home. <laughs> Mike's like looks like a friggin' towel. Can I borrow the towel? I'm like whatever. <laughs> right? Like it's not pretty, eh? I don't care. <sighs> I don't care. I don't think she's that hot yet. No, she's not. She's not there. No. Well, if she is, she's doing well. <laughs> yeah, she's doing really well if she's pulling that off. Okay. Okay. Tell me. We're getting old. Oh. These used to be in our life when we were young. I know. But I feel like we're going to go back to them at some point. That's what happens. It's the arrowroot cookie. They're horrible. No, they're not. Yeah. They're delightful. I, but you eat them when you're a baby and you eat them when you're 102. I know, right? So you start your <laughs> life with them and you leave your life with them. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> we're going there. <laughs> right? But I still like an arrowroot cookie. I don't like an arrowroot. No, it tastes I like I'm eating a cardboard no, box. No, it doesn't. There's no taste to it. <laughs> Do you know that they're from 1906 and that's exactly what they taste like? <laughs> like they've been left out since 1906. No. And, and every box is packed with a little bit of staleness from 1906. <laughs> I don't understand the air root cookies at all. Oh, no, they're good. Mm. It's like the phrase okie dokie. <sighs> that's an old one. That's a ridiculous phrase. Okie dokie. I had an adult, I heard an adult say that and I'm just like, I shot her a bad look, hey? Like, what the fuck? Why are you saying that? Come on, adults, use Come your big on. word. You'd use okie dokie. Of course I would. Because it's a lame ass frame. It's a lame ass frame. saying. Oh my God, I can't talk. Hmm. What was in the pizza? Oh, the pot. Maybe that mushroom was <gasps> a I magic you. mushroom. It's the mushrooms, right? Oh, I am feeling a little funny. Are you feeling a little funky? <laughs> yeah. You're looking a little worse for wear. 
<laughs> no, I'm just joking. That's not nice. But you got ringlets. I don't have ringlets. I see the ringlets. Are you gonna? Do you have? Oh, that's what it looks like. I was trying to think. Do you have one of those like one of those tube curling irons? Did you oh, buy one oh, of those when you were away? A tube curling iron? No. Because the curl by your by your eye by your side of your face, it looks like it's tubed. <laughs> Yeah, and then are you gonna have the feather suit? No, I'm not going. Back? No, I'm not going. And then for I'm the gonna feather. call you Farah. No, please don't. Okay, please don't. Okay, I'm just saying that would be kind of funny. I'm I not hate, that high. I hate okie dokie. I think it's horrible. No okie dokie. You my should role. love it. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't embrace it. I'm not going to embrace it at all. I bet you when you're old you'll say it. No. Okie dokie. Yeah. I'm never going to say it. Yes, you will. No, I won't. I bet you. you I will. promise. I saw a weird commercial the other day and made me gave me a little bit of angst. Huh. Okay, so. It was for coach slip cuppers. Normal. They're not normal. They're not. People buy them all the time. Okay, but on the commercial, Samantha, they made it look easy. <laughs> and I'm like, I call bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit. Did you try this? Yeah, because when Mike and I first got together a million years ago, he had that 1970s couch. Oh, and you wanted something to cover it. I wanted something to cover that. And okay. we went and bought. We went and bought some. Yeah, but it only fits certain coaches. <sighs> It doesn't matter. It's not a 70s coach. <laughs> well, didn't they have them in the 70s? Or they well, just no, used but... plastic back then? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> they probably, they used probably the just plastic. used the plastic. <laughs> but that wouldn't change the color wouldn't of your change couch. the color. It's still got flowers. Still got <laughs> harvest gold flowers. Right? It's blur. Right? Blur. It's blur. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. So I just, I thought, who still uses those? Everybody. Why? Because it's easy. Then what? To change your couch. If you have like a newer couch yeah. or like a basic square couch. But if you have a newer couch, couch, you should be happy with the newer couch. No, sometimes you get bored. And then you just want to buy a couch cover? Yeah. It's like, a, it's, like, it's like dressing the dog in the sweater. They make it look easy and I don't think it's an easy process. It probably isn't. Mm-mm. And somebody might get bit. Somebody might get bit. Could happen when you're doing the couch too. <laughs> <laughs> it just, I don't know. It doesn't, I didn't get, I don't get it. Uh-huh. I think it's a big money maker. But yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know. But really? they get returned a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, because nobody can do that. Because nobody can yeah. do it. And then try and get it back in the package. That's a whole different story. It's another thing the world can't do, right? It's put shit back in the package. Oh, that's true. Right? Do you get shit returned to you that's not in the package? All the time. And can you put it back in the package? No. No. It's not meant to go back in. It's not no. meant to come out. This is true. Like poop. Not meant to go in. <laughs> it's like your bum. Things aren't meant to go in it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Because I saw How an, did you? Because I saw an ad for suppositories. Oh, God. And I just thought, nope, it's not meant to go in. It's not meant to go in. <laughs> oh, my God. Just a suppository. Yes. That's all I was thinking. Okay. I'm just saying. So I've been doing some cooking. <laughs> I've been doing some cooking. Have you been known to do? Yeah. And you know what? And I really, really, really impress myself. So I actually, know. Yeah. I actually felt 100%. Like, you know what? Samantha, nothing says, Lisa, you are a world-class chef. <laughs> like, shake and bake with lemon pepper. You use the lemon, not not the normal okay. shake and Let's bake. Let's make this very clear. <laughs> Somebody else got all the spices, and shoved it in a bag, you drop a chicken thing in shake it, it, you shake it, and you put it on a tray. You bake it. <laughs> and then, Voila. It's so, have you done this lemon pepper? No, I have not. I'm not saying the other flavors do that. You do the lemon pepper, and all of a sudden, you know what? You're standing up tall. (laughs) Your shoulders are back with your good posture, and you're looking at your masterpiece. Oh, my God. Yeah, with some carrots, baby potatoes. I didn't do those things, but I'm just saying, right? If you did, what did you eat yours with? Uh, White rice. Yeah. You know why? Why? Because I love white rice right now because I love soy sauce. Oh, that's the new thing, right? So I'm like. So you had some salt. Then you had some more salt. More salt and some chicken. How's your blood pressure? <laughs> Probably through the roof. Probably a good thing I didn't have a stroke that night. But it looked so... Try the lemon pepper shake and all bake. Right. I don't know if I believe in all shake and bakes. Mm-hmm. Do you believe in all shake and bakes? No. I don't know if I go with all shake and bake. No. But you know what I did try this week? What? Because I was at my meetings yes. in Edmonton. Yes. Cooking class. Which I think is funny for you. I thought it was hilarious yeah. when I read the email. I'm like, this should be fun. Yeah. Because you, you're not a cooker. <laughs> no. So there were several dishes you could choose yeah. to participate in. Right. I chose something called arachini. What is that? Well, basically it's risotto made into a ball with cheese in the middle. Okay. What's the difference between risotto and rice? Ris- I don't know. Okay. Don't ask me okay. things I don't know. Okay. Don't. 
Okay. Risotto has like a sauce with it, kind of. Mm-hmm. Rice is just rice. Rice is just rice. It's just rice. Risotto is rice with a sauce. I guess. Okay. Like it's creamy. I have no, I have no frame of reference. Neither do I. Okay. 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 So I think you could have sold that better to me. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But I'm not going to. Okay. Because I'm trying to tell you a story. I'm listening. Of how Sam couldn't make a ball. You can't make a ball. <laughs> you couldn't make a ball. Is that why you had issues with pancake balls? Because you can't make a ball. A ball. Really? I can't make a ball. You just cuff my hand. Got the got the risotto in yeah. there. Got all gooey, shoved some cheese in the middle, tried to make it a ball. Wasn't happening. But you couldn't roll it? I was not a good ball maker. Not a good ball maker. No, but I was good at s- stirring a sauce. Well, any idiot can stir some <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> right? Anybody can stir. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. You can't yeah. make a ball. No, I can't. But you would have liked it. You know why? Why? Because it was deep fried. Yeah. And it had gooey cheese in the middle. Mm. What well, was the sauce you were stirring? What type of sauce? Well, it was a little spicy. Oh, like too hot? But it was uh, too hot for me. Hot. Too hot for you? Too hot. If it's too hot for you, then it's too hot two for me. Two chili peppers in there, and I'm like, whoa. Did you have to eat the food? Uh, yeah. Okay. But I ate the ball. I ate the balls. You ate the balls. Without the sauce. Without the sauce. <laughs> were they dry? No, they were no, good. Because really? it was the gooey cheese in the middle. Gooey cheese. Yeah. So it was delightful. Like drippy balls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were. Interesting. Yes. Not, but I learned, not a good ball maker. Not a good ball maker. Just one step further away from cooking. <laughs> And I can't even do that right. And I was like, don't really care. Who cares, right? I don't. In your 50th year, do you need to start cooking? I don't give a shit. Hey, TFC. Right? Exactly. Totes. Completely. It was fun, but I don't care. But it didn't like, hey, Lisa, you want to take a cooking class? Anything like that? Nope. No. No, you're good. It did not spawn that for me. It did not. No. That's kind of funny. Samantha. Lisa. We had a lot of fun with with our friends this (laughs) week. Our friends of the podcast. Well, I, I, I made sure I could see right into the picture. I know. So here's the thing, friends of the podcast. We had, yeah. we, we put a call out and we asked people to send us what's in your medicine cabinet mm-hmm. or what what's underneath your, your, your bathroom sink, <laughs> right? And the response was overwhelming. Mm-hmm. We got in so many that unfortunately, guys, we can't cover them all this week. No. Because we can't do a two-hour podcast. No. <laughs> right? So we're doing half this week. Half next week. Yes. No particular order. And the fact that Lisa's explaining this to you means that she's uncomfortable because she can't do it all in one shot. Can't do it all in one shot. And then I feel bad (laughs) because I feel we're letting people down because everybody's going to think they're going to get a shout out, but but the love is just being spread into two. Oh my God. All right. She's so worried about you guys. I'm like, they're going to understand. You're like, like, we have to explain it. How do we explain this to them, Smith? How do we explain it? Right. I'm like, they're going to get it. I'm an explainer. Okay. Okay. But before we get into that, yes, I want you to know a couple things about why there rules about, no, it's just some things about why people snoop. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you know that 40% of people snoop? I'm not surprised. I think that's bullshit. More people snoop. I would say 60%. I would say 70%. Oh. Yeah. Did you notice in HHG's bathroom, she doesn't have a medicine cabinet? No, I looked in her drawers already. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I saw it. I watch. Give me a second. I'll look in the kitchen. <laughs> Sorry, just looking for a cup. Just looking for a cup. <laughs> I'm going to look under the couch. I'm going to look under the bed. I'm going to open the drawers in the bathroom. She don't, know, she don't know how long the podcast takes. <laughs> right, we're taking pictures. And we're posting it. <laughs> we're renting it out for her. And she don't even know. She don't even know. Right? Oh That's so God. funny. I, oh, I did see you in her bathroom. <laughs> But in fairness, you were looking for toilet paper, right? I didn't stop me. <laughs> I, know. I know. I did not. When I went in, I just did my business. You know what else I noticed when you were in there? Huh. And maybe this, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to. <clears throat> you run the water longer than I do. Well, because I make sure my hands are clean. I make sure mine are clean, but I think I'm just in there to get the job done. I think you're in there more to, like, lather up and, I don't know. Really? Yeah. Uh, Cleanliness is close to my heart. <laughs> Mine too. Really? Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh-huh. Okay, 38% of people admit to putting certain things away before guests come. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. And you know why? Uh-huh. Because they say that the bathroom represents a tier of privacy. So they Ooh. say it's like people's front yards. Your front yard always looks better than your backyard. Because people can see the front yard. <laughs> the backyard's where everybody hides the shit, uh-huh. right? And business in the front, business party, party in the back. back. <laughs> and out of all the people who go snooping, only 4% ever get caught. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you yeah. were caught because I caught you. No. I just didn't say anything. No, you didn't. I, I saw you do it. 
I saw you. The door was open. Of course you saw me do it. I was looking for toilet paper. So you were caught. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I saw you. I was looking for something. I know you important. were. Important. Yes, very important. Good thing I told you, though, before you went in. That's a good friend. That's how good of a friend I am. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because I yeah, could have yeah. not told you. Talk and about then, it later. And then you would have came out and I'd be like in my mind going, mm-hmm. that was a drip dry, wasn't it? You're gross. <laughs> you are so gross right now. Uh, sorry. Should we talk about people's covers? <laughs> <laughs> it just got weird. It just. Oh, did I just make it weird? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> We've been saying I'm weird all night. Yes, so because you are. Apparently it rubbed off. Apparently. So guys, we're going to talk about some, we got some, Sam's got questions. I do. Right? <laughs> okay. So when Lisa sent me all of your pictures, I was like, oh, okay. Ooh, not good. Oh, what is that? That's basically what I was You were doing. thinking. I know. Yeah. You were blowing up things bigger than I was. I'm yeah. like, I didn't see that. No, yeah. I know. Cause I'm a detailed kind of yes, person. Yes, you are. You are not. I'm not. No. Yeah. No. I don't pay attention. But mine, got to start with mine. We're starting with yours. Oh yeah, I got some. I got some comments on yours. Hot mess. Oh, such a hot mess. Hot no. mess. The worst mess actually. It was clean and organized at one point. When when you moved in and there was nothing in it, maybe. No. Yeah. No. Yours was the worst. No, it wasn't. In my opinion. No, Jeff from the unbelievably or no from the men are dumb podcast. Men are dumb pack, uh, podcast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're not we're his not at bad. his, but we're at yours still. Okay. <laughs> You got shit. Like, you need to buy some new hand soap, looked like. Yeah. Yours is I like got up, a hand soap. Yours is upside down, drained to the end. Yeah. I seem concerned about my teeth. Yes. Because I had whitener in there. Yeah, you had some whitener. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you, having, you can see my contacts. Are you having struggles, man? No, I'm okay, not. Okay, good. Don't stare at my face. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm, like, zoning in. Mm-hmm. Your teeth look fine. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, apparently, I like to do my own pedicures. Yeah, I saw that. I saw like your instant yeah, petty or something. My like instant petty, and uh, I apparently have just a lot of shit in a basket. I did see cotton balls. Yeah, you had. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw cotton balls. So I'm, apparently, I'm okay about a cotton ball. Yeah, yeah. Again with the balls. Again with the balls. I don't know. Apparently, you like. But it balls. isn't very tidy. No. 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 It's not tidy. It no, was, it's not no, tidy. No. No. Who else's? But then I went, and then I went further. Uh huh. And I decided to go to more gooder. The more gooder podcast. More gooder than more gooder podcast. Than podcast. Yes. Yes. What'd you think of theirs? Well, it was a little empty, to be honest. It was a little bit empty. A little bit of a waste of space. Yeah. It was. There was some waste of space. And I did focus in on the fact that there was asper cream, what which, by the way, I saw in a couple of cabinets. What is asper cream? It's for like sore muscles. Oh, okay. So it's like eight. And then that makes five. me think, what are you doing? Why? But you know what I noticed with that one, which I thought was really funny, was that the aspirin had no lid. So that medicine cabinet said to me, if there's a heart attack coming, I'm on it. I'm on it. I don't have time to play with the lids, which I thought was funny. <laughs> well, and then I saw Tums and I thought, hmm, eating things you shouldn't. Tum, 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 <laughs> right? I thought Tums was in a lot. Yes. Tums is very popular. Very popular. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then there was a big bottle. Uh-huh. Of something, and I couldn't read. It was a big black bottle. And then there was a hidden bottle behind it. Oh. And then I thought, what are you hiding? What are you hiding? Because now I was like, I was just going in, and I'm like, nope, can't see it. Nope, can't see it. Nope, can't see it. And I'm like, couldn't make it any bigger. And I'm like, huh. What are you hiding more good What are you hiding? What's in there? What's in the bottle? Why can't I read the label? Why is it turned? Is it turned around? Uh And I'm like, "Hmm." interesting. And then you're hiding a small bottle. What's a small bottle? What's in the small bottle? You know what I thought it might be? What? Tell me. She got her eyebrow. She got her eyebrow cocked. Friends of the podcast, <laughs> tell me. Just tell me. I have a dirty mind. Oh, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't have a dirty mind. I have a very innocent mind. Okay, but there were random pills at the bottom too. I didn't notice that. What? Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. They were like just thrown at the bottom randomly. <laughs> like and what? I was like, huh. Do you remember what those are used for? Yeah, and what if you don't? Don't what if you don't. Don't take those. And you ones. think it's one thing, but it's another, and shit, it gets real. Yeah, shit gets real, people. More good than podcast. Don't take those random pills. I I think you should clean those out. <laughs> Just throw them in the garbage and start fresh. <laughs> start on a new random pile. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Okay, you know what? I went and I looked at Stacy's from the Rough Draft podcast. Yes. And you know what? Her and I, we use the same deodorant. <laughs> I think I'm sure that we're both using. I'm sure she's very excited that you use the same one. Audio influencer, <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm sure that she's using Dove deodorant. Yes, right. But no, she's using 
No. It's Hi. Like, it wasn't could you Jonah? please just look at the pictures? <laughs> I thought it looked like the... It's a shower mousse. Oh. Oh my God. Sorry. It's not the Dove Spray I deodorant. Thought it was Dove Spray deodorant. No, I'm it's like, a look shower mousse. Because like, again, because I'm, I am the forty percent. <laughs> look at your meds. Get my meds. You and I don't. I just gloss over. Apparently, I'm a creeper. You're a creeper. <laughs> You're a creeper. Okay, I want to know, hmm. why a shower mousse? What is a shower mousse? Is it better? Is it creamier? Is it more luxurious? Seems, you know what it seems? It seems like it wouldn't wash as deeply. Because it's a mousse? Because it's a mousse. Hmm. Oh. I don't know. Stacy, let us know. Let us know. <laughs> let us know. Send us a tweet. Oh, okay, but she did have, like, all the things I would typically have. Yeah. She had, like, a good face scrub. I actually use the same one. Yeah. Dry shampoo. I use the same one. Mm. I feel like Stacy, her and I would get along great. She's got a funny man, and I think it's bubble bath. It does look like bubble uh, bath. Like like, and then I thought, oh, that's fun. Yeah. That's fun. That looked fun. I agree. Yeah. I agree with that, too. But I felt that she was very, uh, it was a good use of space in a corner in her bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. And she, it was open to the world. Very good. Come look at my things. I'm okay with me. Yes, I'm okay with me. <laughs> I even have a little plant at the top. Right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Thanks, Stacy. I thought it was good. It was good. It was I good. I thought so, too. Okay. Odd dad out. Yeah. Hi, Adam. Pills and razors. Dudes, I have questions. All I saw were pills and razors. That's what I saw. Pills and razors. I saw more. You saw more. What did you see, Samantha? Okay. What's a shower jelly? A shower jelly? <laughs> wow. Because it's called 93,000 miles. Ooh. Adam, oh, you need Lord. to explain. Lord, 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 Lord. Why is it not a gel? And why does it have to go 9,000 miles? 93,000 93, miles. miles. And I'm like, oh, shower jelly, shower jelly. What is shower jelly? You need to get mileage out of that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if I I don't want to know. No, I think I do. Oh. I think he needs to explain. All right. Okay. But apparently he's very uh, concerned about his pores. I saw that. He had the nose strips. Yeah. For Bjor. Nothing wrong with that. No. Right? I was like, oh. Thank you for reminding me. I should go pick some. You need to go get some, right? My pores are getting a little out of control. My pores are out of control, yeah. but very organized. Good. Good. That's what I thought. Yeah. Good on you, Adam. You have a family that's very large. You have a very organized cabinet. Way to go. Pills and razors. And then the next one, oh. Alyssa. Yes. From Best Forever. Okay. You know what? Dear Alyssa. Alyssa. <laughs> it's Lisa here. I need you to listen. Okay? I'm a little concerned. Oh. I need you to move... The wine glass, it doesn't need to live beside the Z-Quil. Right? <laughs> the Z-Quil will give you a good sleep. Right? <laughs> and if that doesn't help, drink it with wine. Drink it with wine. <laughs> then, then go to the wine. But don't do, don't, don't do the combo don't to do start both. off with. Don't do both. Don't do both. One or the other. Yes. Yeah. And I think that she ha- maybe had the sniffles. Well, I think she's Because she has a nasal spray. Yeah, she, I think she's worried about it. But I thought it was interesting that all of her cold meds and sleeping medication yeah. were in a cupboard full of cups. Mixed in with her mugs. <laughs> I know. That's kind of funny. Hey, I thought so, too. I, I enjoyed that. I thought it was kind of pretty cool. Okay. Who else, who else are we doing? Jersey. Oh, my goodness. John. John. From the Unbelievably, unbelievably Stupid Podcast. Yes. Dude. Wow. You were way too organized. Way, that was way too organized. That's not Samantha, me either. Organize, no, no well, that wasn't me. Not based on yours. It certainly had nothing to do with you. I thought maybe the female deodorant in there might no, have been yours. No, that's not mine. Huh. No, he's just, he needs to smell good. And it doesn't matter what it is. Okay. And the hairspray? <laughs> that's not mine either. Because he got no hair. I know. Okay. And he wears a ball cap. Apparently it's his sister. <laughs> or his girlfriend. You knew I had questions as soon as he <laughs> took that picture. Right? I'm like, what is this? Dude. Who's living in John's medicine cabinet? Yeah. Okay. But you know what? I thought it was really funny. But, he had stool softener, yeah. asper cream, again with the asper cream, cream, Tums, and lots of cologne. And all I thought was, huh, signs of a man looking for some action, but knows his age. But knows his age. <laughs> <laughs> his limitations. <laughs> his limitations. Okay. And he did have something called One Wipe Charlie's. Yeah. Hi. For your bum. Yeah. They were for your bum. I think. And he use... did let me know it would probably be more like two or three. <laughs> and, that, and, and I will let you know that's TMI. <laughs> Seems like TMI right there, Samantha. Right? Uh, but Thanks. his his was pretty normal. Lots of vitamins, too. Yeah. Man who, again, knows his age. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Got to embrace your age. Yeah. I thought it was good. It was mm-hmm. a good one, too. Lisa. Samantha. Let's talk about yours. Okay. 
What's, mine was perfect. No, it's not. Yes, what's wrong with there mine? There was so little in there. It's like, nobody lives in your apartment. <laughs> we don't like clutter. It was so clean. I know. Cause Too are... clean that I'm thinking, huh, no. do you use your bathroom? Hi, you've been in my bathroom, <laughs> and you apparently will have had at some point a snoop into my cupboard. So they're all like that, uh-huh. right? Okay, but of course, of course. When I zoomed into the picture, because yeah. that's what I was doing. You're zooming. Of course, you have a toothpaste pusher. Yeah, goes on. So you don't. So you use all the toothpaste. Yeah, and only you and your husband. Mm-hmm. Only a Gibson would have that. Absolutely, we have that. That is so weird. Yeah. Well, it saves. You should get one. It saves a ton of time in the morning. Okay. And then I have. I think I'm calling you out on something. Okay. There is no way that you use the Clinique lotion that's in that cabinet. I bought it. Because you use Jergens on I your do. face. I do. And that's on the cu- that's on the counter. <laughs> yeah. But I have it. I you do- don't use I it. I don't use it. You don't use it. I don't use it. I'm it's- like. Hmm. And call her out on it, but it looked good, didn't it? You're just a liar. <laughs> okay, and then another this place needs nothing but hand lotion. Yes, okay. Yeah. But in the corner, uh-huh. on the left hand side, yep. the tubes. Is That's that your denture cream? My denture cream. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> For my and, teeth. Hey, but you couldn't fool me because you had the labels turned to the inside, <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, I know what they are. It's one of two things. It's either denture cream or it's Vagisil. <laughs> it's denture cream. Denture cream. <laughs> Denture cream. Oh, my God. Yeah. But it was very neat and organized. Yes, it was. Because that's how we are. Boring. Uh, that's how we Gibsons are. Okay. Okay. Cousin Stacy. Cousin Stacy. Which is a cousin of the HHG. Cousin sister friend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I liked her cupboard. Okay. Very organized. I'll give her that. Always. But I Everything thought... Cousin Stacy is very organized. Yes. Yeah. I think the turtles with the cold mints... It's turtle hot chocolate. Okay. Good idea. Smart thinking. Right? You know, I'm not... Oh, I'm not I feel gross. I need a hot chocolate. Yeah. Right? <laughs> she needs all that stuff. Right? <laughs> so it's all right there amongst her wine glasses. Yeah. Okay. But there was a little tube yeah. that said active, something active. And uh-huh. I'm like, what is it? And what do you need to be active for? I think Cousin Stacy's active. I know. But what? Right? Is it like a little juicer? Like, whoo! I get excited. Okay, what? I'm a little active. Very nice. She lives in BC. Yeah. Okay. Things are very readily available. Like, are you talking pot? Maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Got a I little don't know. active pill. Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe pot gummies or something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, we know who's tried those. <laughs> Our girl. <laughs> I don't know. But I thought, and she's very vitamin-y. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She's very vitamin-y. Well, she lives in BC. There are those people. Well, she's healthy. Yeah. She drinks the fancy wine. <laughs> Drinks the fancy. Expensive Does she drink wine. the fancy juice too? I don't know. She might drink the fancy juice, <laughs> or is that the fancy juice just squished into a bottle? <laughs> I mean, who knows? We need to go visit. But then I feel we need to go spend a weekend with cousin Stacy. Oh dear God! Right? She would hate us. Uh huh. No, she you, would love us for sure. You. She would. She would love me. No, she would hate oh, you. Oh, not hate. No, me. I feel very confident. Mm, I don't think so. Okay. The HHG gave Look, us a pick. Yeah, she did. I'm calling her out. Are you? Uh-huh. I I praise her. I do not believe she is that clean because you really? just shove things into baskets. But did you see the cool basket? Yes. With like the handle on the front? Yes. That was a cool okay. happening basket. But I didn't see a picture of the baskets and how well baskets were organized. So I feel that she just shoved <laughs> stuff into baskets to like make it look better. Well, I think she, she just not too long ago went through like some organization. <laughs> Right? She was doing that one Sunday and sending me snaps as she was going through her house. She was doing the kitchen not too long ago. Putting stuff in baskets. Putting stuff in baskets. I got some baskets, putting stuff in my baskets. What I thought was funny, too, is she had another, she had an aspirin bottle with the lid pried off, too. Okay. Are the lids to the aspirin bottles, like, really hard? Like, are they, like, that child Or, like, like, so like child-proof? Tamper-proof? Maybe. Right? Because one guy's got it. No, I can't. I don't even have time for the lid. <laughs> HHG, it kind of looks like she's not off the lid. Right? Like it's half on, half off. You know what I thought was funny in hers, too? Is that she's got a little bag on the top shelf, and it still has the receipt stapled. Well, obviously, somebody had to go to the store to get that. Did you not need it? Well, how important was it, How then? important was it? And what's in the bag? Curious. Right? Why can't it be uncovered? The picture wouldn't go any bigger. I know. I couldn't tell. See the, right? But then that's my thing, right? Why can't it be revealed? But on the same shelf? Maybe it's still in the bag because... <gasps> Let's go look when we're here. Yeah. <gasps> but maybe... It, Let's do that. (laughs) Let's do that. But maybe it's in a bag because maybe, like, she doesn't want the kids to see it. Mm. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they can read the label. I guess so, true. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, but on the same shelf? Yeah. Just because you turned the label around doesn't mean I don't know what that big orange 
<laughs> bottle is in your cupboard. Everybody, Honey, everybody it's knows. Metamucil. Right? I know it. I've seen it. My mother has it, and she's 71. <laughs> okay? So, HHG, you can turn that label, but I know. Be proud of it. You need your fiber. You need your fiber. You <laughs> well, need, to, don't, she you don't need to be regular. Right? She don't eat properly, so she needs to be regular, Samantha. That's so funny. I'm calling her out. You are calling her out. And here we are in her home, and she's being so nice. And then, oh, wait till next week. And then you wonder why I have issues. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. But very mom cupboard. Yeah. Had all the essentials. Yeah. Cold medicine, band-aids, all the stuff. All the stuff. All the stuff. Yeah. Because she's that girl. She is that girl. Yeah. Okay. What about Emily from the story behind? Okay. <laughs> from right? the story behind. From the story behind. Um, she was. She has, in my opinion, she had the best overall representation of family. She did. Right? She had his stuff, her stuff, and kids stuff. She did. And a thermometer. No. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I thought it was? What did you think it was? <laughs> well, Emily, think don't scat. Don't hurt. Don't. Don't come after me. <laughs> Please don't. Okay, I well. thought it was a pregnancy test because <gasps> it had a pink tip and it was white. <laughs> no, I. Th- well, it could be, but I think it, I'm going with thermometer for 100, Alex. <laughs> but all I thought was, huh? Does she need to share? <laughs> <laughs> On ne- next week's hate to wait. <laughs> but you're right. It's probably a yeah, thermometer. <laughs> I'm thinking it's a thermometer. You know Damn. what's funny though? Not a tampon box to be found no, anywhere. And she talks about Shark Week all the time. I know. Come on, Emily. I feel like she's hiding it. Yeah, I think so, too. Darn it. Yeah, I think so. Or maybe she ran out. out. Maybe she ran out. It's possible. I don't know. But there was lots of... They were a big fan of Gold Bond. Uh, it's big. Yeah. It's really There popular. was a body powder and a cream. Yeah. Like, that's how close they looked at your picture. <laughs> <laughs> you really... Like, you really creeped, Samantha. I really did. It was fun. You really, really did. I did. She had a Tide pen in there, too. Yeah, well, that's just practical. Yeah. And it's practical. I have so, one in my purse. There you go. Well, yeah. and you need it, though. You spill. That's not very nice. You're a spiller. That is not very nice. But it doesn't matter if it's not very Actually, nice. Actually, I used it while I was gone. Too. Yeah, you are a spill. <laughs> you always spill, right? So, so at least, uh, thank God there's a tie pen. But she did have an anti, anti-wrinkle cream, too. Did she? By Pons. Like Pons Cold Queen? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, and I'm like, oh, I remember Pons. That's like up there with Noxzema. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Huh. Very reliable. Okay, but she had a bottle. I'm curious about it. I need, her, I need, okay. to, I need explanation. It's called Element Botanical Alchemy. I don't know what that is. I want to know what it does. Okay. Because I love the word alchemy. So maybe you can send us a tweet and let us know. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious. Okay. Okay. Who else? Do we have anybody else? Jeff. Speak? Last one, I think. Men are dumb podcasts. Yeah. He was a hot mess. <laughs> he was a hot He's the female you. <laughs> he is the female you. Now, okay. I looked at that and all really I thought was... Bad. What happened? Was it an earthquake or a robbery? Right? And are you guys okay? Evil came and went right to your medicine cabinet. Right? There's shit upside down. There's shit up and down. Right? Like, what was that? I know, but it was funny. It was so crazy. Okay, but you know what I love too? And I thought, oh, I wonder if you put it in there in the hopes that we would see it. Right. There was a Darth Vader toy. Oh, yeah, I did see that. A little Darth Vader yeah. minifigure toy yeah. in the right-hand corner. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. And he had an earwax kit. <laughs> and, okay, because that's, that's what I wanted to know. What you didn't is, know. What was D-Brox? Yeah, so we Googled it. Yeah. It's earwaxing. He, he's apparently fond of removal because right beside <laughs> that was skin tag removal. <laughs> I hate the idea of that. So apparently he's fond of removing things. I think that's just nasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jeff, we have questions. We have questions, dude. <laughs> But apparently he has stomach issues, too. Does he? Yeah. yeah. There were stomach relief pills. There was a lot of stomach relief pills. Yeah. In Are we stressed out? I don't know if we're stressed out. Don't be out. stressed out, people. We're eating bad food. We got the screaming shit. So I don't know what it is. <laughs> Scream shit. But we got something's going on, Samantha. Oh, my God. That was fun. That was a good time. So we got more to do next week. Yes, we still have more. We still have more. So don't worry. Those we did not get to. We will. We will get to we you. We promise. We promise. Yes. Yeah. That was lots of fun. But, Samantha. Lisa, Samantha, call the action. Yes, call it. Call do the it. action. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, so we need you guys to share us with everybody you know. Everybody. Lisa needs friends. I, I She's always, very needy. You know, I just like I like the I just like the camaraderie or whatever. What's the word? Camaraderie. <laughs> you can't say it. I can't it. say that. It's an awkward word for me. Camaraderie. Com- oh, no, com- I can't say camaraderie. It. I just like the camaraderie. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 
I don't know what it means. You need friends. I need some friends. <laughs> Come on, be our friend. I'm her only one besides HHG. I got two. I got two friends. And Rayel. Rayel's my friend. That's too. true. Rayel's my best friend. That's true. Rayel's my very best friend. <laughs> She's 20. Right? <laughs> well, you did say you were the millennial. So. I told you, right? I'm a millennial. Oh my god. Yeah. So you know what? So share us. Like us. Tell people about us. Yes, get them to join our Facebook group. Yeah, join I the shake chat. My hand. Join the chat. Mm-hmm. Lots of fun. For sure. Yeah. Lisa. Samantha. Do you have an I shake my hand? I do, and it was today. Uh-oh. It was when we were coming over to the HHGs, and we we were going to order pizza. Yes. Right? So what did she say to me? <laughs> You've got to get it from TJ's, because TJ's is the best pizza, she said. <laughs> order from there you get to two it's the two for one it's the best okay so we order the two for one two for one all dress pizzas yes 437 i place the call <laughs> we get the guy says okay 15 to 20 yep. no problem we get there mm-hmm. you go in they gave our pizza away they gave our pizza away. our pizza was gone <laughs> yeah they just gave it to some stranger <laughs> took my pizza <laughs> And I just don't understand how that happens. I don't know. Right? Yeah. And I get that we got breadsticks out of the deal. Uh-huh. And they shaved a little bit of money off they our pizza. They did shave a little bit off, but still. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That was my shake my head. What do you mean you gave away our pizza? <laughs> and then we had to wait longer. And then why? And then you came out and you said to me, they need your phone number. For what? Because he couldn't find our order. No, no that's right. Because he gave it away. Because <laughs> he gave it away. He gave away our pizza. <laughs> Yeah. What would have happened if I had paid for that on my credit card? Oh, you'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. You would have got you would have got out of the car. Oh, I would have been mad. Oh, I would have been mad. They would have hated me. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> what about you? Okay. Because I was out of town for a couple of days. Yeah. We ate at Earl's. Yes. In the West Edmonton Mall. Lovely. Yeah. Very nice. Sat down. Didn't notice it until the food came. And someone asked for salt. I looked at the table. There's no salt and pepper on this table. What? No. What do you mean? There's no salt. And, there was no salt and pepper. There was no condiment of any kind. Wow. It was like the cleanest table known to man. Really? Well, that and the fact that I didn't have a freaking straw with my pop. Well, you know what? You need to learn to live without the straw. There, but that's now, happening. Okay, I but get now it. You're taking away the you salt. You took and pepper. away a straw. Yeah. Now you're taking away salt. I get salt. Take away the salt. It's not good for you. No. But pepper didn't harm anybody. You know what? Salt doesn't hurt you. Again. It's how much you use it that okay. hurts you. Fair enough. Uh, right? Right. So leave it up to the person sitting at the table okay. if they want to salt their food or not. It's not that I wanted it or needed it, but I didn't understand why, why you a had no option. Basic <laughs> condiment wasn't sitting on the table. Yeah, fair enough. So is it now too like is it trendy not to have anything on your table I in a restaurant? You have to ask the millennials. They're deciding everything. These they days. are. Yeah. You'd have to ask I them. pose that question. Okay. And then say, what the fuck? Bring back the salt. And Bring pepper. back the goddamn straw. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You're still on that, hey? I shake my head at that, too. Yes. I shake my head. That's my I shake my head. Makes sense, Samantha. Makes sense. Topic for next week. Mm. I hate this topic. Because <laughs> you spawned I this did spawn. topic. Somehow I spawned this topic. You spawned this topic. Yeah. Lisa gets weird about shit. I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You get weird about normal things I... that everyone else thinks is okay. And you have a weird, like, phobia, twitch thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. But we're going to talk about it next week. Yeah. So dive into your weird little head. <laughs> okay? Well, I'm going to come up with nothing because yes. I don't think I have anything No, you weird. do. And you have a weird thing about not asking questions of people. Oh, Samantha. And this is how we didn't understand the HHG when she was gone. I just needed you to ask her a question. <laughs> I, I can't do it. I can't People, do it. that's a topic for next week. It's going to be a hot one. Look out. <laughs> Seriously. All right, Samantha. Okay. Okay. We have merch.com. Yes. It's got all our shit. Go to the website. Well, I'm swearing a lot right you now. You are. <laughs> you got you're all our stuff. You're talking about my weirdness. Get y'all riled up. <laughs> y'all riled up, Samantha. So if you want to wear us, we got hats. You want to drink from us. We're mugs. Yes. We're a t-shirt. We're a beer cozy. We're a bag. We're a bag. <laughs> right? We're, we're something. I think that's all we I are. think that's it. I think that's but it. But for the most part, oh, a travel mug. And we're a travel mug. Yes. Yeah. And a regular mug. And a regular mug. So go there. Go there. If you Check want us. Yeah. We, we want to be wanted. Yes. Lisa always does. I do. Yes, you I do. do. <laughs> I want you to want me. I need you to need me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you to love me. <laughs> 
I'm begging you. <laughs> no, shush. I'm shush. Song stuff. Shush. There. Yes. Okay. Talk okay. about Podbean followers. Friends of the podcast. If you listen to us on Podbean, and yes. hopefully you do, because that's our home. Yes. Right? If you don't, <clears throat> download the app. It's free. Search I Shake My Head for I Shake My Head, Please and Sam. Yes. You're going to see the podcast. Hit follow. Yes. But then when you hit follow, you have to go in. And, and if you do already follow us, mm-hmm. now what we need you to do is we need you to go into your settings. Mm-hmm. Right? And we need you to, what is it? It's it's automatically download. Yeah, it's an autoplay download. Autoplay download. Of whoever you're following. Yes. So what, so what that will do is every Friday around four, you're going to get the podcast. It's going to come right to you. Bloop. Bloom. There it is. There you don't have is. to go looking for it. Nope. It comes to you. Yep. But you got to change that setting. Yes. So that's what we're asking for you to change the setting because we got lots of followers and we love you all. Mm-hmm. Now we just want to make sure you're getting the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As easy as possible. For sure. Okay. Okay. And thank you to Audio Editing Solutions for making us sound so good. And considering you were in a nude space, you might have a little more to do. Yeah. You might be busier tonight. Sorry. We don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> and also on Podbean and Patreon, mm-hmm. right? If you want to sponsor the podcast for $1, $2 and up, yep. we would appreciate it. It takes time. It takes money. We, we might want to do things. We might want to, to uh, go on a trip. Go on a trip update take the podcast on the road well we that would be a, that would be the trip yeah we just bought a we just bought a new tripod we did. right <laughs> so go figure that so uh you know feel free uh, yes uh, always appreciate it yes yes um you can listen to us on podbean itunes and iHeartRadio, or pretty much any podcast app that you have we're out there we are so out there we're so out there. um you can find us on instagram twitter and facebook all you have to do is uh look up i shake my head absolutely that's it samantha mm-hmm I think we need to say thank you to the HHG. Yes, we do. Right? She's letting us borrow her home. She's probably in bed sleeping. She probably is. <laughs> she did say we could spend the night if we no, want. No, I'm not going. I'm well, going home. We're going home. All right. Samantha. Uh-huh. Always a pleasure. Yeah, it should be. This was a podcast from the Podfix Network. You can check out more shows like it at podfixnetwork.com.